Ladies, gentlemen, guests, please stand. His Excellency, Dr. Richard Davis. Please be seated. Kia ora koutou, ngā mihi mahana ki a koutou, nō mai haere mai, rā ki te whare kawana o te wanganui a tāra. My very warmest welcome to you all to Government House Wellington, and in particular, I would like to acknowledge the Honourable Michael Wood, the Minister for Transport, Commissioner Andrew Costa, New Zealand Police, the Heads of New Zealand Defence, Mr. Peter Mercy, Chair, New Zealand Search and Rescue Council, uh, Mr. Graham Pomeroy, Chair, New Zealand Land Search and Rescue Incorporated, and Ms. Kirsty Hewitt Hewlett, Chief Executive of Maritime New Zealand. Tanakotu Katoa. It is a real pleasure for me to host representatives of our search and rescue sector tonight and to acknowledge the vital role that you play in Aotearoa. I know that I'm not the person you expected to see this evening, uh, but you may be aware that Dame Cindy is in the United Arab Emirates, offering her condolences to Sheikh Khalifa's family on behalf of New Zealand following his recent death. <clears throat> As a doctor in the remote Falkland Islands, I was often involved in the management and the retrieval of victims of accidents and medical emergencies by road, by boat and by plane. And I know well the challenges that you face on a daily basis. Weather conditions, difficult terrain, the pressure to act fast, the pressure to keep your people safe and hoping against hope for a good outcome. And then there are the unexpected challenges. Not many people know that the kitchen door, which has been taken off its hinges and repurposed as a stretcher, will not fit in the back of a Land Rover. <coughs> so I have enormous respect to all of you who face these dangers and stresses regularly and often at a moment's notice. And in Dame Cindy's absence, it is a real privilege for me to host this event. New Zealanders like to think of ourselves as being adventurous, inspired by our heroes. Sir Edmund Hillary, who learnt his craft climbing in the Southern Alps. Dame Naomi James, who established new records in solo, round the world racing, sailing. And we have successfully sold Aotearoa as the adventure capital of the world. We are unfortunate, we are fortunate to have the wonderful Tonga of our natural landscape right on our doorsteps. Every year, more and more of us venture into the wilderness. And I note that next season's hut passes for the Milford track were snapped up faster than Adele could sell out at Mount Smart Stadium. Such is our eagerness to experience the outdoors and emulate the experience of our forebears. Dame Cindy and I, and I can count ourselves amongst the many who have enjoyed the great walks, and I've spent a great deal of time sailing on the open ocean, fortunately without any major mishaps, or, or none that I'm going to admit to tonight. Um, like all of you gathered here tonight, I know how quickly a beautiful day in Aotearoa can turn inclement, or how easily a short walk can end in a disastrous fall. Even the most well-prepared people can become lost, injured, or find themselves in a life-threatening situation. In the past year, this was the reality for over 1,500 people, resulting in tens of thousands of hours dedicated to search and rescue operations. Thankfully, these people found themselves in the care of the experts, the almost 12,000 strong specialists and volunteers who make up New Zealand's search and rescue. People who can bring specialist expertise, physical skill and technical support to the task of finding and rescuing people in distress. 
and the number of organizations represented here this evening is a testament to the sheer complexity of those search and rescue operations. Tonight, we are going to hear the stories of people who have demonstrated outstanding courage, skill, and quick thinking in their responses to save, save lives in dangerous situations. I'm sure that all New Zealanders are deeply grateful to have New Zealand search and rescue personnel who are prepared to drop everything to assist strangers in peril. Whether you do so voluntarily or on a professional basis, the skill sets that you bring to New Zealand search and rescue have helped thousands of New Zealanders in harrowing circumstances. It is deeply satisfying to know that you can save lives and ensure that people in life-threatening situations make it back to their loved ones. So my sincere thanks to everyone here this evening from the search and rescue sector. Congratulations from Dame Cindy and myself to the award winners, and I wish everyone here the very best for the year ahead. Kia ora hui hui tato katoa. Tēnā koutou katoa, e te rangatira, te nā koe, e te minata, te nā koe. Nā mihi mana hau ki a koutou i tēnei rā, nō mai, haere mai, whakatau mai, ki tēnei hui whakahirahira, nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Peter Mercy, and as the Secretary for Transport, I have the honour of chairing the New Zealand Search and Rescue Council. I'd like to begin by thanking Her Excellency, the Right Honourable Dame Cindy Kiro, the uh, Governor-General of New Zealand, and His Excellency, Dr Richard Davis, for your very warm welcome uh, and for your hospitality and, and for such a personal uh, reflection uh, on the search and rescue se sector. And thank you all for being here. Uh, some of you have travelled here but we also have others who are joining us online for this, live, uh, for this live stream. It's great to have you with us. Nō mai, haere mai, piki mai, kake mai. You'll see we've got our uh, photographer, Hagen, working hard tonight. Uh, so he'll be taking photos on your behalf, which you will get access to in the next few days. Uh, and finally, just a quick reminder, if you could turn your phones on to silent if you haven't done so already. I felt my buzz before, which is why I reminded, thought I'd remind you. Uh, it's now my great pleasure to invite uh, the Minister of Transport, the Honourable Minister uh, Michael Wood, to the podium. I whakawhitai ana ki te kaihanga, i mihi ana ki te tangata, i te kaihanga te nā koe, i ranganui, i papatua nuku, tēnā korua. Inga mate, haere, haere, haere. Ita hunga ora, ita hau kainga. Tina koto, tina koto, tina kato kato. And a very warm and good evening to everyone who's gathered here tonight. Uh, firstly, can I acknowledge uh, His Excellency, uh, Dr. Richard Davis? Um, we hosted this do at our place last year. Thanks for having us over here this year. Um, I think it's very special for everyone who's here uh, to be able to be hosted here at Government House. So thank you uh, to you and Dame Cindy for that privilege. Uh, can I also acknowledge the Secretary of Transport, uh, Peter Mersey, who has just uh, spoken, uh, the Chief of Defence, Air Marshal Kevin Short, uh, Kirsty Hewlett uh, from Maritime New Zealand, Keith Manch uh, from uh, Civil Aviation, and all of our other special guests who are here this evening. Uh, most of all, I acknowledge you, our award winners, who we are recognising tonight, and the volunteers and family who make this sector such a special and important one here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. New Zealand's search and uh, rescue region covers 30 million square kilometres. It is one of the largest zones for search and rescue activity of any country in the world. And we are incredibly well served by a dedicated uh, team of New Zealanders 
who give your time to keep other Kiwis safe. 90 per cent of the 11,500 strong search and rescue sector are volunteers, and I think that's pretty incredible. Last year, you responded to over 3,000 incidents over land, sea, and air. And here's the really important thing, that across all of those incidents and across all of that work, 134 lives were saved as a direct result of people in the sector. And some of you will have been directly responsible for that. I think one of the things that everyone in this room would know and acknowledge is that in search and rescue, nobody operates truly alone. Teamwork is an absolutely essential component of every single search and rescue operation. And it goes way back as well. Those folks who sell the sausages on the stall to raise money for the organisation, those in the field doing the searching, those who run the debrief sessions and write up the incident reports, and those people who are out there in the field. All of it is about people working together to save lives. And in addition to that, there's a big sacrifice which is made by the family and loved ones of our volunteers. The missed birthday parties, school assemblies, the overtime that's worked, holiday plans sometimes changed at the last minute. Families are a key part of making this all work uh, as well. So it's a huge thank you from me and our government for the incredible work that you put in in this sector. It couldn't work without you. For us, it's important to provide uh, support to this sector. That's why uh, two years ago, we injected additional funding to make sure that we had a more sustainable base for search and rescue activities over New Zealand. And that $48 million over three years has enabled a step change to ensure that we are more ready across the sector and that we have a greater level of coordination across organisations. I'd like to thank everyone again uh, for the enormous amount of time and energy that you put into supporting your fellow Kiwis who are in distress and who need help. It literally changes lives. The final reflection uh, that I would just like to offer is I, I so thoroughly enjoyed the reception that we held last year in the Grand Hall at Parliament. And one of the things that struck me was after we'd done the formal presentation uh, of awards, people mixed and mingled and had a chat. And time and time again, I was struck in conversations with people who literally over the course of that, la that previous year had saved lives with just how humble people were about it. And I wouldn't want any of you to lose that. That's part of our Kiwi way. We get on with things, we help people, and we move on. That's who we are. But I do hope that tonight you and your families feel some pride in what you've achieved and what this whole sector achieves every single day of the year. Thank you all so much. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Thank you very much, Minister. I think the first time I met you, um, one of the things we did was look at the, the picture of the search and rescue area, and I think your reaction was the same as mine when I first saw it. It's very big. Uh, and as you say, uh, we couldn't do what we do uh, without the enormous efforts of the volunteers. So thank you for those words. As you took your seats tonight, you would have picked up a small booklet uh, which contains the full citations for each of the award winners. The New Zealand SAR awards are presented in two categories, for operational activity and for support activity. And there are two levels of recognition for each category, gold award and the certificate of achievement. So we will begin by presenting the gold awards. This year's gold award for operational activity is awarded jointly to nine organisations who conducted a two-day operation on both sides of the main divide, looking for a missing tramper. Late on the second day, with the weather deteriorating, he was rescued from steep terrain near Mungo Pass, where he had been lying for six days after a fall. And the recipients are the West Coast Police SAR Squad, represented by Sergeant Paul O'Hara.
the Christchurch Police SAR squad, represented by Sergeant Phil Simmons. The South Westland Landsar, represented by Stretch Verhays. To Hokitika Landsar. Unfortunately, the Hokitika Landsar group can't be with us this evening. However, the award will be collected by Sergeant Paul O'Hara. To Methvin Landsar, represented by Mark Wilson. to the Auraki Mount Cook Alpine Rescue Team, represented by John O'Gillan. To the helicopter line Mount Cook, represented by Richard Kidd. to Precision Helicopters, represented by Lily Newton. And to the GCH Aviation Rescue Helicopter, represented by Ryan O'Rourke. This year's winner of the New Zealand SAR Gold Award for Support Activity was nominated by his Landsar and police colleagues for his efforts in both operational and governance roles within Taranaki Landsar. He's described by those who know him as a humble yet exceptionally valuable member of the search and rescue sector. To Alan Doy for his service and commitment to search and rescue and Taranaki Landsar. We now move to the Certificates of Achievement for Operational Activity. 
which are awarded for important contributions to search and rescue within the New Zealand search and rescue region in 2021. Our first certificate of achievement is for the rescue of two climbers who ran out of daylight while climbing Kaimato, Mount Rolleston, in Arthur's Pass National Park. This was a rescue performed in the nick of time in challenging avalanche conditions before five days of stormy weather rolled in. And the recipients are the Christchurch Alpine Cliff Rescue Team, represented by Matt Cully. The GCH Aviation Greymouth Rescue Helicopter, represented by Geoffrey Davies. The Christchurch Police SAR Squad, represented by Senior Constable Paul Spencer. and the Rescue Coordination Centre New Zealand, represented by Justin Allen. And if we could ask the yep, recipients just to come back up stage for a minute. Justin, don't run away. Our next certificate of achievement is for the rescue of a father and his two children who had gotten into difficulty in a notorious rip while swimming at the beach. This rescue is noted for its seamless coordination with other agencies and for the efforts made to do CPR for 26 minutes before the rescue helicopter arrived. To the Karakare Surf Life Saving Club, represented by Shalima Wandenhane and Jessica Wandenhane. Our next certificate of achievement is for the rescue of four adults who ended up in the water after their boat sank. They were rescued by the Police Air Support Unit, who have nominated their colleague for his role in the rescue, particularly how he gave away his own flotation vest to ensure the group had the best chance of survival. To Senior Constable Mark Lendrum of the New Zealand Police. Our final Certificate of Achievement for Operational Activity is awarded to the organisations involved in a four-day search for a missing man in Whangarei. This was a complex search across urban, bush, river and harbour environments, ultimately resulting in the man being located at the end of the fourth day of searching. The recipients are the Whangarei Police SAR Squad, represented by Senior Sergeant Cliff Metcalf.
to Northland Lansar, represented by Jenny Calder. To the far north Lansar, so. represented by Ian Riddell. To the Whangarei Coast Guard, represented by Shereen Nelson. To the Ruakaka Surf Lifesaving Club, represented by Ben McKernan. <laughs> to Skywork Helicopters, represented by Roger Stevenson. and to the Whangarei Fire Brigade, represented by Paul Thompson. We now move to the Certificates of Achievements for Support Activity, which are awarded for important contributions to search and rescue within the New Zealand Search and Rescue region. Our first Certificate of Achievement winner was nominated by her colleagues at Surf Life Saving New Zealand for her work establishing the Wahine on Water programme. She is held in high esteem for her volunteer work and for her leadership abilities. To Phoebe Havel, for her service and commitment to Surf Life Saving New Zealand and the Wahine on Water program. Our next Certificate of Achievement is awarded to someone whose leadership style is described as humble and inspirational. He is highly regarded by his peers within Coast Guard and the wider Nelson community and local iwi. To Peter Kara for his service and commitment to search and rescue in Coast Guard Nelson. The next Certificate of Achievement recipient has served for 35 years in his local Coast Guard unit. His dedication to his unit and the Coast Guard mission is described as without peer. His colleagues say his exceptional skills and knowledge are only matched by his enthusiasm to help. To Richard Craig for his service and commitment to search and rescue in Coast Guard Kaikoura.
And our final Certificate of Achievement for Support Activity was nominated by his colleagues at Amateur Radio Emergency Communications. They highlighted his generous nature, his work setting up Wander Search New Zealand, and his efforts to mentor new members. To Ray Harkness for his service and commitment to search and rescue and to Wander Search. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the formal part of this evening's uh, presentations. Your Excellency, thank you very much again for hosting us. Uh, for those watching at home, thank you for joining us this evening, and I, uh, we all wish you a lovely evening, and I hope you uh, enjoy whatever's on television next. For our guests here in Wellington, uh, we invite you to move next door to the Blundell Room uh, to enjoy the hospitality of Government House. And for our award recipients, please make your way to the front uh, of the dais for a group photo. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your evening.